heart of VMware cross-cloud services is essentially a SaaS version of NSX that allows you to do networking for public clouds. Right? So what we're going to do, what you can help me with here, is we're going to first onboard this application. That's a new process. And then we're going to secure with the NSX that right. you know already. Right? So if you look at the screen, the first thing we see is all the, um, uh, the networks we found uh, on Amazon. And for one of them, we have NSX deployed already. But for the other ones, are not controlled by NSX today. So we're going to onboard this. We're going to pick the network. And uh, before we do this, let's switch over quickly to the instance view here. So here you can see all the instances running on Amazon, so the normal Amazon console. We'll go back and um, then start the, the deployment process here. We've got a quick question, old IP space or new IP space? We have a lot more flexibility with cross-cloud services than we have with the native networking here. And, and then we're going to start deploying NSX and onboarding this with NSX. And um, the first thing that's going to happen, actually, is going to spin up a gateway. This sort of serves as the perimeter defense for my cloud network and makes sure that everything that's going in and out you know, will, will, is protected with NSX. Um, the, we also have an agent that's already baked into our image here, so we don't have to do anything there. And if you refresh this, we can see how all the, all the um, uh, instances have come up. The gateway is spinning up here. If we go back, let's have a look if they've all connected to, to NSX. And yep, we hit refresh. You can see here NSX cloud agents available everywhere. So John, from this point on, you can use NSX, exactly the NSX you have on-premise, to control all of these workloads in the public cloud. That's great.